It's me, the people's coach, aka Maboob Chowdhury, aka your role model and inspirational role model. Yes, that's right, people. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the power of concentration. I want to bring a few things to your attention about this topic. Now, check this out. Listen closely and carefully. Pin your ears to the screen or to the speaker because what I'm about to tell you and say may be of great importance and beneficial to your life. Now check this out people, in society, in our environment, on a day-to-day -day basis, whenever we're trying to concentrate on something, whenever we're trying to focus on something, there's so many distractions, there's so many people who will come up to you, will bring you all types of aura from all different types of backgrounds. And what I mean by aura is the, the, uh, the energy that they carry, that they bring towards you, whether it be positive or negative. How many people come to you with a positive energy? And how many people <coughs> come to you with a negative energy? Because these are the types of things that can impact the, inf the uh, impact, the influence impact and influence, I'm not too sure if that makes sense, but impact and influence the power of your concentration because these are all distractions. I'll tell you what, let me tell you something about the power of concentration. Concentration and focus is such a delicate thing. I'll give you an example. It was said by a well-known bodybuilder by the name of Kai Green. He said, when you're trying to squat or pick up heavy weights, it requires a certain level of concentration, a focus. You can't allow things to influence your focus because if you do, then lifting that weight from point A to B is gonna be impossible. You ain't gonna do it because your focus has been distracted. You need to focus on the task at hand. He also further quotes that, <coughs> Focus, concentration requires violence. It requires you to be violent. Let me explain. Violence can also be seen as something negative. But if it's not channeled correctly, if it's not channeled in the right way, if it's not channeled in a positive way, because violence is an energy, a type of energy in itself. It's an aggression. You can't be, for example, if you're trying to shift 800 pounds or 800, uh, 400 kilograms of weight on your shoulders and you're trying to squat that from A to B, <coughs> you can't go in there and approach the bar, the weight, softly, humbly, with a calm, cool attitude. It doesn't work. You have to psych yourself up. You have to motivate yourself. You have to really amp yourself up. You have to get very, very aggressive. That's what I mean by violence. You need to be assertive and aggressive. Bam! From point A to B. If you want to get moving, you need that aggressive, violent type of mentality. What I, what I mean by that is not hitting people. I don't mean by hitting people. I'm talking about the energy. You need to conjure that up, that tension, and apply it in a positive way. That's what I'm talking about. The concentration, the power of concentration. When you're so determined, because determination is also a form of violence in terms of energy wise because you don't stand for anything less you want to go out there you're determined that nothing's going to stop you or get in your way you're determined to succeed that's a form of aggression the get go go for it type of mentality that's what i'm talking about the power of focus the power of concentration and let me tell you something it's so delicate it can be disruptive disruptive by in, um, environmental factors, people, energy, people that bring all sorts of types of energy. You know what? It doesn't matter how strong you may think you are mentally or physically, you can be broken. Focus is and concentration is such a delicate thing. If you get too much of the negative thing, you will get broken. It doesn't matter how strong you are. You can remain strong for a while. But you keep on getting consumed by negative types of people, negative energy, negative environment, negative things, distracting things. You will become prey to being victimized 
and be broken and be weak. That's what I'm trying to bring to your attention, people. It's all about acknowledging this, being mindful about what type of things come your way, what type of energy that people carry and contaminate you with. Because the more contaminated that you are by negativity, the more harder it is to gain that concentration, to gain that focus. So what do you do? How do you maintain a level of strength, a level of focus, concentration? You need to go away and hibernate. And when you do hibernate, you need to hear, see, listen, and be around positive things. Get that strength, that internal strength. You need to condition yourself and then go out in the world and do whatever it is that you have to do. But you need that hibernation because that is your time, that is your space where you build yourself up. You can either do a few things as well, be around, surround yourself with these types of people or do it alone, which is the hardest thing to do. And sometimes when you hibernate, you also need to reflect, take a look at your life, take a step back and think, hang on a second, this is what, what I choose to change for the better. This is what I don't want in my life anymore. I don't want to associate or hang around with these types of people because they train me too much. That's what I'm trying to bring to your attention, people. Concentration is very delicate. It's delicate, but also so precious at the same time, so guard it. That's the thing I'm trying to bring to your attention. Guard it, because not all the time that you will, you will remain strong. It doesn't matter what type of person that you are, you will get inflicted at some point. You will get victimised at some point by negativity. So be mindful when it does come your way. You need to quickly regroup and get yourself back together again. Build yourself back up. Because that's what life is about. One, we know that you're high up here. Next, we know that you're taking down gradually or even fast. And then you're going back up fast as well. So it just depends on what you do. It depends on how mindful you are. And it also depends <clears throat> on so many different types of factors around you. So be mindful about the type of people that come your way. About your, environment, your environmental factors. And also, what are you doing to yourself? What are you consumed by? What are you contaminated by? What are you victimised by? Who, what, how? That's down to you to answer, to, to, to reflect upon these things that I've just mentioned and brought to your attention. The power of concentration, the quality of concentration and focus is delicate. Again, I've said this and I'm going to say it again so I can remind you, guard it well. People, that is my rant for today. I hope that's been insightful because it sure has been delightful to speak to you guys. Until then, please, by all means, keep tuning in for more up-and-coming motivational materials and talks. Until then, <laughs> take care, stay strong, stay focused, and always live to learn to empower and inspire the lives of many as well as yourself. Bye for now.